It's all it's right all to right. be just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. vibration. With, that With that in mind, you should understand, understand God's, God's completely God. insane. <laughs>
so I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm, that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be like, Rich, make a video and send it off to her now. Tell her she's full of shit. <laughs> okay, I just to me it's not gonna seem valid until there's someone giving me these kind of compliments when they see me in person. Okay, and what if, what about Mr. Art Museum dude who seemed to, um, you know, I'm not going to go into your personal business, but that was a um, physical reality in-person reflection that you're conveniently ignoring. Duh. No. And then there's that guy who works with you who's like, Dude, here's my number. I know I don't really know you yet, but will you be my fucking girlfriend? Because you're fucking hot and you're awesome. Yeah, there was that guy at <laughs> your work. That's an in-person physical reality fucking thing there. So there's at least two that I know of. So, you know, who are you trying to bullshit? Oh. Uh, and just possibly saying. three if I just decide to show up with an airline ticket to Ohio and just, you know drop the surprise in on an airborne insertion and go, Hi, here's a bundle of roses. I can keep it a thousand five hundred miles just to say hello. Well hey, you know you That would be nice. Because because Henry Kissinger might show up and say, Kristen, you are beautiful, but I cannot rape you. I prefer boys. <laughs> that would be the most flattering compliment I've ever received. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> I would never say one more thing <laughs> about this. <laughs> maybe I had to show up at a kid. Maybe I had to show up at a Kissinger mask and do that. For the kid just... <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, take the mask off and go surprise. I'm not him. <laughs> sure. I, I, I just can't Dude, believe you. You're, you're like. No guy wants me. There's a neon sign above my head. There's a neon sign above two guys that are in your physical reality. And it's like, what's stopping you? Except yourself. Well, well, one, one guy, well, one guy moved to Texas, but still, there's that other guy that's still there. But the point is, she's gotten reflections in her physical reality that totally call her on her bullshit. Okay, well... I am saying it's awfully convenient that there's one guy in my reality, yeah, but all look, you guys are too far away. It doesn't look, matter, you know? Look, two in total. I will be a firefighter. Look, Kristen. I will be a firefighter. I will have the money. They, look, they still count. They still happen. They still call you on your bullshit. Before it was like, I never get anybody in person saying that. Then you got it in person. It's like, well, well, well. Yeah. I, I never get any. No way. I guess I did, but oh, well, it doesn't count because uh, you know how many excuses are you gonna try to grab at to remain I in see your you. paradigm? And you're right. It does sound like bullshit. It does sound like a lot of bullshit. It is. It, well, it's self-talk. You know what I mean? It's that talking yourself down into that state of where no reflection is, is good enough when you're in that mode. Like you know. You could have like 500 guys walk up to you today and be like, wow, you're gorgeous. But the next day you'll be like, well, I don't get that every single day. <laughs> <laughs> or if, there, if it was real, it would be a thousand today, but it's mm -hmm. not. Ow, you know. It can't be crazy because it would have to be the next level of appreciation. Everybody in the town would have to be leaving roses in my front door for it to be true. Okay, so that just, would be annoying. You just start upping the expectations to the point of just ridiculous. It's like neon um, sign, neon sign somewhere out there in Ohio, and somewhere out in Texas, somewhere out there, over there, somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Just all around. But I, th I, I but I mean, look at look at that beautiful smile, the white teeth. She's she's a lovely lady. She's lovely, and I'm gonna say a five on it because she's a lovely Eight. girl. And a, you would be a fine lass for a guy like me or anybody else. <laughs> I'm calling it out right now because I'm an honest son of a bitch and I'm not going to hide it. Well, thank you very, no, very much for you that. Know, you know how many opportunities I've had 
with women like you that were just as pretty and intellectual and I was too much of a nervous wreck to fucking say something, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to call it for what it is. I'm going to call the purple elephant in the room and say there it is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, bingo. He's making a point I made you a long time ago. Remember how I remember how I told you what how I was when I was a teenager? It's like, well, that's you when you were shy and blah blah blah. And that's it's like, dude, that is not like exclusive to me. Like most guys, like especially, you know, when they're teens and stuff, it's like they got the low self esteem thing going on too. But you're expecting them to to grow the balls you won't grow and walk up to you and be like, hey, Kristen, you're blah, you know what I mean? And you're well, well, just because. You, you were a teenager, and you're a nice guy, and you felt that way. Doesn't mean all the others. And, and now you're meeting yet another person that, when they were in high school, you know, was the same way. Here he is admitting it that he was too freaking terrified to approach the girl. So yeah, there's there's yet another guy as proof. You're like, but but how, how do I know there's any other guys? Only you're telling me this, Dave. Only you're telling me. Here's somebody else. You know. You're yeah. not alone. But Dave, you're, not alone. you're the only guy in the universe who could accept me for who I am, and then like boom, all these other people. <laughs> right no, here, neon you know, signs everywhere. Do you need neon signs? Do you need me to light up like Broadway? Yeah. Do you need, me to, a, do you need Listen, me to help the rock? to you and Garrett and Rich. You got all these people. You do, know. Do, do, do you need to have the? Do you need to have the New York? Except you, right? You know. Do you need to have the New York City Rockettes standing out front with signs saying "I accept you for who you are" and I think you're an amazing person? Do I? Do I need to have them doing the high kick thing like they do on Broadway? You know. Yes. With the neon signs and the and the tap dancing and the play and the and the whole Dude, you don't like and then the marching it's band like and. The, Dude, in that in, in the state of being when she gets like that and self defeating shit, the fucking Chicago Bulls could attend her eighteenth birthday and she still won't <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. You guys are on a trip. <laughs> no, you're on a trip of sorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Out of your head. I'm and on hey, a trip check it out. of sorrow. Hey, check it out. When I had a, when I had a belief system that when I'm helping other female friends through stuff, no other female friends are gonna come and help me and back me. They didn't. Then when I cleared that belief system, I got Katarina, I got Daphne, all these people helping me out with other female friends. Then there was the belief system of you know I never have any other guys who are similar to me backing me up, helping me with female friends. I finally cleared that belief system, and then here comes Rich, and then here we are, and he's backing me, and, you know, helping me raise your self-esteem and stuff. So it's all fucking quantum. I don't care how crazy it sounds to people. Reality's a fucking, you know, holographic interface. It's a fucking fractal mirror, and, you know, the core beliefs, the frequency you resonate, determine the fucking external. Jesus said as much. Quantum physicists say as much. And every time I clear a belief system that says this can't fucking be, all of a sudden that that I used to think can't be starts popping into my reality. It's happened too many times. I'm not going to be like, well, that's just a bizarre coincidence. That's not real. No, I see it happening in my real physical fucking reality. So, of course, it's fucking happening. Every time I clear a belief system, boom, the physical reality changes. That's happened to me way too many times for me to be like, no, that's just all in my imagination. That's just stupid. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, well, this, this big screen TV must not really be here. It's this little bitty thing. I'm just deluding myself with my huge ego. Yeah, what the fuck ever. We tell ourselves all these stories because we think that nothing good can happen to us. So something good happens. It's like, no, that must not be because, you know. So it's like, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm using that as like a sarcastic slang. But, you know, it's like every time I clear a fucking belief system, poof, the reality changes. That's happened way too many times to me. Now, I can understand where people who don't have much experience of observation with that, they can look at what I'm saying about it and be like, Dave, you're full of shit. It's like, well, that's fine. I mean, you haven't experienced it in your reality. You have a belief system that says that can't happen. So, understandably, what I'm saying about it just seem like total fucking bullshit, and I don't blame anybody for seeing it that way. 
Dave, you're crazy. You're smoking crack, whatever it is. But, you know, I understand that people coming from that angle can see it that way. But I've lived it. And because I've lived it in my physical reality, I'm not going to sit here saying, well, it's physically happened to me over and over again, but I'm just going to pretend it's not. I'm just going to turn a blind eye and go, no, 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 that's, that's not fucking happening. Because no, that, that would be retarded for me to turn a blind eye to it. Yeah, it's happening in front of me, but you know, I'm, I'm just going to pretend it's not there. That'll make it go away. But just pretend it's not there. Yeah, right. Pretend gravity's not there. Walk off a cliff and see, how, see where that lands you. ASDF. I cannot believe that you're 19, Rich. I think it's societal core belief system that keep you blind. Like anything else that's me out there. I mean, if a core belief system, you know, realizing their own self worth, gee, what else could it keep people from? You know what I mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. But I will, I will back up my, uh, you saying I can't believe you're 19. There are moments where I act like I'm a super, like, I'm 45 or something, full of experience, and then there's other moments where I'm like this, where I'm acting like I'm 15. <laughs> it's called having an inner child, you should try it sometime. Being happy with who you are, being vibrant, being not afraid to be crazy, you know? One analogy I use is like, take the word drinking. Um, Let's imagine somebody had the context that the only context for the word drinking is if someone's an alcoholic or a stone cold freaking alcoholic drunkard. And they didn't think that the word drinking could possibly apply to, you know, gee, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking this, right? So you use the word in the context of RC Cola or Dr. Pepper or whatever, but someone's belief system for that word is assigned that only to alcoholism. Oh, you just admitted you're an alcoholic. Don't you backpedal. Don't you try to take it back. I just, I just caught you. It's like, no, I'm talking about this RC. No, you're not. Don't try to make excuses. You need to get yourself to an AA meeting. You just admitted it. So, you know, people view the world through how, however they decide to freaking view it. There's no talking you know, the amount of it. And, you know, if the information from my perspective that I put out can help someone inspire someone, whatever, then cool. I'm happy to put that out there. Because inspiring people to be the change they want to create and slowly one person at a time through that inspiration making this world a better place is what's most important. Because as it stands, we've got a bunch of criminal fucking gang corporate thugs running the whole fucking planet and a bunch of, you know, the masses of people who think that having babysitters lord it over us and screw us in the ass is better than taking personal responsibility for their own lives. Yeah. I completely agree with that. Yeah. Same. But, and that's the way you choose to do it. Also, like, um how Katarina does it, she helps contribute to it by talking about herself and her own experiences, which is just as, you know, it's just a different way of doing it. Bingo. So you're ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. There's Me, a lot of I stuff that I know. So just, you know, get up there and do what you were doing like on those others. Just be yourself and speak your mind. That is a good starting point. That is good enough. It's funny, Dave, because when you're talking, you're like, you're just like, like a madman. It's kind of like, he is mad, isn't he? Hmm, quite intellectual, I'd say. <laughs> exactly, there you go. <laughs> you get a lot of smiles, though, that's a good thing. I am Darth Outer. Oh my god. I think Rich saw that oh, one. Oh no. They say hey, he's Rich, got you got to go. Rich, go, go Rich, saw, hey, Rich, you saw, you saw my Darth Powder thing, didn't you? Yes. I am Darth Powder. I am Darth Powder. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I know. <laughs> you were join me. Oh, where did I get out of the galaxy? As father and son. 
I don't know. There's Mr. Vigor. It works. Sometimes when David is Shut up! I need to fucking sleep! <laughs> Guys, I'm about to get off here, I'm just saying. My brain, like, when I get this tired, I can't go, go, form go, responses go, very go, easily. Go, 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 Oh, 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 Nine. I'm in the mood to fuck. As you would. Execute order 420 and get me a really big joint. <laughs> As you wish, my master. Execute order 666. I have a meeting with Satan. <laughs> Otherwise known as <laughs> known as Garth Maul. Oh my god, I love I love Rich's reenactment of what Satan would be like. That was beautiful, and I love I love your whole persona right now, Dave. It's and really by cool. the way, by Darth Maul, I mean Darth Shopping Mall. We're opening up a chain of stores. <laughs> Oh god, I like how you even got into costume for it. That was sweet. Lord Vader, ass rape Kissinger with your lightsaber. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Riches in costume. I'm Just to know who I am. Just rebuild it? What do you have a to what do you have an ATM machine on that torso light bright? What the hell is an aluminum falcon? falcon. <laughs> what do you mean they blew up the Death Star? I'm sorry, bunch of fucking teenagers blowing up the fucking Death Star. I'm, I'm just all stressed out. <laughs> and, and what about Panda Bear? Panda Mammy or whatever you call it. Panda Mammy, whatever the hell her name was. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm not getting any of the references of what you're doing, but it's really funny to watch you guys do this, so I'm just saying. <laughs> and, I, and, I threw, and I threw the whole Senate at him. The whole Senate! <laughs> no, you gotta you got do this in order to do it right. Huh? You gotta do this in order to do it right. Because then the crying thing starts, and then it gets really funny. And then it goes from there, remember? You gotta do it in order. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, wait, I gotta do the call. Yeah? Uh, no. No, that, no, that's, no I, I, I'll, I'll just have a Coke. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> oh my god. I'll have to show you that video sometime, the robot chicken mm -hmm. video. Sure. It's hilarious. He's Lord Powder right, and Dark Powder. This is fucking crazy. I never thought this conversation would go here. This is the <laughs> weirdest video I've ever done. And anybody who watches this all the way through is going to view me in ways they never thought possible. Look at what you're wearing! Look at what- You're wearing this in a Google Hangout. Both of you. They're probably going to see me in this black hoodie and they're going to think I'm an ISIS member. So... You're the Brit. You're the Darth. British man who's been beheading the citizens. Darth Obama, go to your chicken hmm. corner. It's more like Darth Roth. Darth Roth, child. Hmm. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. <laughs> <laughs>